What's up, Bridgecom community? This is Justin with Bridgecom Systems, and I am here with our two newest licensed amateur radio operators on our team, Eric, KF0CIY, and Tom, KF0CIX. So we're going to do a little interview about their experience getting their amateur radio license for the first time. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, Eric, we'll start with you. Uh, how long have you been here at Bridgecom Systems, and what, what do you do here? What's your job? Yeah, so I've been here since uh, uh, July 14th. Um, I uh, operate on the sales team. We uh, help um, get people the information they need to uh, um, find the right product and uh, help help them purchase it. Awesome. Tom, same, same question for you. Well, I've been here since uh, mid-October, and my job is to work with the radios and the SkyBridge uh, hotspots to enable people to more easily get onto the the DMR digital mobile radio networks put out by Brandmeister and to give them the ability to communicate both analog and digital with all of their friends all over the world. Awesome. So two guys on our team that have been here less than six months and you've already got your amateur radio license or ham radio license, if you will. Um, so how much previous knowledge of the amateur radio world did you guys have uh, before you came here? Uh, Tom, you want to answer that first? Uh, I grew up with a ham. My dad's a, an advanced, and he, he's talked all over the world. And as a young kid, listening to him communicate either with a speed key in Morse code or with a voice communicating to uh, people from every walk, so every walk of life, whether they're pastors in the middle of backwoods China uh, or uh, scientists in Antarctica or Joe Blow on a mountaintop in Colorado, it's, uh, it's kind of exciting. Um, that's all HF, high, high band stuff, where they're talking to people uh, in the analog world. Today, HAM is really focusing towards the digital world, or DMR, digital mobile radios, and that's what we are working with mostly here today. Awesome. Eric? Yeah, my uh, previous knowledge of uh, um, radio and stuff like that was pretty much non-existent. Um, the only thing I knew about it was uh, an acronym called shortwave radio, mm -hmm. um, which I had learned from my physical science book back in high school. Uh, and I knew you could bounce radio signals across the uh, um, a certain layer of the uh, atmosphere in um, all around the world. Um, so basically, I knew pr pretty much nothing um, except for, hey, I can tune into the radio with my car and uh, listen to music. Um, and then I learned quite a lot here and uh, learned that that shortwave radio is also known as uh, HF in the amateur world. And uh, I've been learning ever since. Yeah, so you've, you've been here right at four months and you've learned a lot already. You could get on the <laughs> phone and sell somebody an entire system with all the information you've gained in just four short months here yeah and, and he has more information sometimes than i do <laughs> and i'm programming the radio so it's just really funny that's awesome two great members of our team so um what was the experience like getting your license uh, how how much did you study how long you know how far in advance did you start studying was a test hard just you know share your experience with that process when i first looked at at ham radio i was in my 20s and i was thinking i really would like to do this because my dad did it you know and that was the real impetus for it but back then you had to get uh morris code and i was never really good at, at hearing i could do the morris code with my finger but i couldn't get my brain to sink in with it and so i kind of looked at it and then let it went away and looked at it and went away over the years and but now with digital mobile radio, the, the version of ham that's out there today, you don't even have to learn Morse code. So you can start with voice right off the bat. So it's a lot easier. Um, and there are a lot of great tools out there that you can use to train yourself to pass the code uh, technician test, which is now the, the lowest level test that you need in order to be called a ham. And so I've spent a lot of time with um, with the hamradio.net uh, ham exam yeah. uh, um, systems learning that for the last month to try and prepare for this exam. Cool. And uh, I found it to be pretty decent. Nice. How about you, Eric? 
Yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend the route that I took. I, <laughs> <laughs> um, I had taken a few practice tests, and other than the things I was learning here um, to uh, sell the radios, I uh, didn't really know much about um, the, the radio world and stuff. And so I had taken practice tests on QRZ, and uh, I had failed every one of those. Um, the, uh, the morning of my uh, technician exam, I uh, went through, it took me about three and a half hours. I went through all of the questions and the answers relating to each question uh, for the technician class and uh, kind of just read through everything um, and then ended up passing my uh, um, technician exam, uh, only missing two questions. That's awesome. So, <laughs> That's awesome. Much Eric. better than my uh, uh, failed practice tests. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So uh, what are you guys looking forward to now that you are licensed ham radio operators? Well, now when I'm working with the radios, I, I am actually required to use my call sign rather than somebody else's call sign, which is how we've been testing them. Since I now have my own, I have to use my own. Um, so it's kind of a, a good thing. It's going to make a, a few changes for me, but it's a good thing in the end. Um, but I'm not satisfied to stay with technician because there are more limits on a technician license. I want to get to general. So in December, that's my goal is to knock out general. Awesome. That's awesome. Eric? Yeah, um, like you, Tom, I, uh, I'm not going to be satisfied with technician forever. Um, I don't have a specific time frame on when I'd like to go higher, but I would like to go up to extra class because... I am uh, eager and uh, excited about uh, using more of the HF bands. HF. Um, and I know you get all of those <clears throat> unlocked with the uh, um, extra class. Extra class. Um, now, I, I'm excited for all the things you can do with just the regular um, technician license on uh, amateur radio. Yeah. Excited to uh, start finding the local repeaters in uh, uh, my area here and uh, um, see about making some contacts. So very cool. Well, congratulations to you both on passing your exams and officially getting your amateur radio license. Uh, this is Tom, KF zero C I X, and Eric, KF zero C I Y. Congratulations, guys, and we're signing off. Seventy three. <laughs> Seventy three.